Annoyingly, there's a shortcut for merge and center on the ribbon, but nothing for center across selection, which is far superior. So in this video, we're going to fix that with the help of ChatGPT. Now this is important because merge and centered cells get in the way of selecting a range of contiguous cells like this. Now, I know I can use the control key to select non-contiguous ranges, but I shouldn't have to, and I don't with center across selection, which looks the same, but doesn't get in the way. To remedy this, I consulted ChatGPT to write a center across selection macro that I can attach to an icon and place on my quick access toolbar. And I'm happy to say it did a pretty good job. It's important that you write your prompt as clearly and with as much information as possible. The more detailed and precise you can be, the better the result. Although there's no guarantee it'll do everything you ask, as you'll see. I asked it to write a VBA macro that will remove merged cell format from the selected cells and replace it with center across selection alignment. Make it so I can assign the macro to a button that I put on the quick access toolbar. And the response was this code nicely commented so I could follow what each section was doing. Now, unfortunately, ChatGPT assumed I wanted to remove all formatting. I didn't, but thankfully it's an easy fix. So I'll copy the code. Now it also gave me some instructions on what to do with the code. However, by putting the macro in the worksheet, as specified in step two, I'll only be able to use it in the current file, not any file I have open. Now this is also an easy fix, if you know how. I asked ChatGPT several times, and eventually it told me to save it in a module in my personal macro workbook. So let's do that. I'll close this and we'll go to Excel to open up the VB editor. It's Alt F11. And here I want my personal.xlsb, right click, insert module. Now, if you don't see your personal macro workbook here, there's a link in the video description to a post on an easy way to create a personal macro workbook. So in the code window over here, I'm going to control V to paste in the code. Now remember it's doing some things I don't need. One is clearing all formats, so let's get rid of that. And we'll just modify the comment here so that it just says unmerge the cell because we've deleted the clearing of the formatting. And we're ready to go. All I need to do is save and close the VB editor. Now the macro is saved in my personal macro workbook. It will be available in any workbook that I open. Next, I need to add the macro to the quick access toolbar. And we do that by right clicking on it Customize Quick Access Toolbar. And then under Choose Commands, we want Macros. Scroll down till you find the macro that you just saved. There it is. Click Add. Now it has this default icon, but if I click on Modify, I can choose an icon from the list here. Let's go with this one. I'll click OK and OK. Now it's on my Q80, ready to use. So in this sheet, I've got some merged cells. We can see they're merged. And if I tab across, you can see all three are merged. Now I can click on my macro to execute it one at a time, or I can just select them all, click on it. And now we can see that they are all centered across selection. So no more merged cells. Now you can also use the macro on cells that aren't already merged and centered. So here I just have the company name written in a single cell, but let's say I want to center it across these cells. All I need to do is select them and click the macro and it applies the format. Now that you see how easily you can create shortcuts like this, please share your ideas in the comments for other macros you might like ChatGPT to write for you. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the text file containing the center across selection macro from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.